Hey everyone, today I'll be showing how to replace an injector on a semi truck on a D16 engine. Step one, wear your gloves. Alright, uh, so this is step two. Uh, what we're doing here is just uh, removing all extra parts such as air filter to get to the engine. Now uh, I'm removing the engine on top. So what we're doing over here is that uh, we're tying down the camshaft to an external item. This this time we use a uh, uh, snow shoveler for car. So and. What we're doing is just tying and zipping it down so that way um, all these parts don't slide because once we pick up the camshaft it's, it's very smooth and they might slide out and we might we, we might have to uh, put them all back together to, to avoid that we uh, pretty much tie them down here zip them tight down <laughs> Step five is obviously to remove the bolts that hold the camshaft. Uh, there's about 13 bolts, um, and we need two type of socket: 15 millimeter socket and 18 millimeter socket to take them out. All these uh, 12 um, bolts are 15 millimeter, and the last one uh, close to the front of the engine is uh, 18 millimeter socket. <laughs>
Okay, we're up to step uh, step six. In here, what we're doing is uh, we're gonna just uh, pick up the camshaft so we can get to the injector. Since we tied everything down and we're on ball the whole camshaft, what we're gonna do next is just pick it up and move it to the side. So that way we can get to the injector, remove it, and uh, just put it back together. We'll see. <laughs> Step seven is to remove the injector. We use this tool to remove it more comfortably. And as you can see, you just pull it out and it comes right out. Step eight, put the new injector in. You have to make sure you pull, push it all the way down so it sits right on the block. All right, there's the injector. It's in its place. We're just double checking everything, make sure everything is, is uh, correctly set. And then there's the bolt that secures the injector. You have to pull it, pull it back and uh, Tie it down. Camshaft uh, back in its place. Double check everything is correct and t put it tied down. That's it. So after everything is done, after you put the injector and uh, 
you, you put every, everything together. The last step is to uh, calibrate the injector, make sure that it works for your engine. Most of the time, you have to go to a dealer and do um, computer collaboration so the injector understands, the computer understands there's a new injector and it works properly. But since we replaced the injector that was initially from this engine, it was already adjusted to the engine. We did not have to do anything. All we had to do is just put it back together and it's just working fine. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.